Hi guys, and I know what you're thinking. You're actually seeing my ugly face for the change because I've not done a vlog, and this isn't a vlog either. This is me going to play the Stanley Parable with face cam. So, yeah. Um, one of you had asked me to do this game, and I thought, why the heck not? So I got it, and now I'm going to play it. I know nothing about this game. All I know is that it's to do with choice. So that's about it. So let's just get started. This is the okay. story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push, simple job. and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Stanley... That seems kind of suspicious. Like, and then one day, oh. something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Aliens. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had been sent for an on the monitor for him to follow. What? No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or Where does even say one? hi. Never in Why do you think this game's gonna scare me? Had this happened, this complete isolation, something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, oh. he got up from his desk and stepped oh, out of oh, his office. Oh, that's really fast movement. Oh. What's this? Can I pick things up? Can I push buttons? What's in my cabinet? Nothing. Hello? Nope. All of his co-workers were gone. That door just shut. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. That guy must have a really interesting job. Like, 432, do you just sharpen pencils? Is that all you do? Like everyone else has a computer. Like everyone. But you just seem to have a lightness, a sharpener. Why? What do you do? Why do you just sharpen pencils? So someone dropped some paper. Anyone? Can I have it? Can I Oh I can crouch. No, I can't have it. Nope, can't get in here. Those are empty. Can I get in here? I like that narrator's voice. Oh, what does that say? I like... I like work. Just hate my boss. <laughs> Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Well, that was sassy as hell. That was the sassiest comment ever. Are you going to shut me? What? What was that one to say? I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to, like, sass me if I don't continue. So, I feel like I should continue. Do you think they just got these pictures of Google Images? Like, genuinely? Do you think they just printed them off and were like, yep. When Stanley oh, no. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't like choice. I hate choice. I prefer games where it's just like, do this for me, do this for me. Um, I'm going to go what I usually wouldn't do. I'm going to be rebellious. And go against this the was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes. 
That's nice. Is that them? Nope, that's not it. I don't like choice. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Mm -hmm. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, yeah. beautifully constructed room. Stanley J simply stood here, drinking it all in. Just saying it's fancier than my work. Just saying. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. That that's kinda a creepy room. But that has a factory. Oh no. I feel like he might rage at me if I don't listen to him this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But there's a thing here. But that looks kinda terrifying, so never mind. Nope. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh, tips for not fired. Oh. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Work harder, hard work, worker. What? What? I'm so confused. Ah, ah, R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, let me move my desk. Get. Get Chris out of the broom closet, what? Everyone is unique, you most of all. Life lessons from Stanley Parable, guys. Broom closet, Chris. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he Chris. turned around and got back on track. Chris. Chris. There's Chris in here somewhere. Or there is meant there to be. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path Do you mean to stop passing me? Empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Though. Fine then, but I'm not listening to your next decision. You tell me. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. To nope, you sassed me last time. Nope. Nope, you sassed me last time. If you sassed me, I don't listen to you. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He That's considered the possibility creepy. of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence I feel like should be some moment here. for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered Where does this, that car he come began from? to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <gasps> the doors closed automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This Someone's going to jump at me. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Yes. Yay! This is all a dream! It's a dream! Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found oh, an, answer, an explanation. His co workers were coffee. actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. Can you he stop wasn't crazy shutting after doors? All. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring oh. real life job pushing buttons. I may as oh. well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Oh. So. He ima imagined himself flying this and is began what he to meant. gently float above the ground. Oh no! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. Oh and no! It oh. Appeared. oh! It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining yeah. so lucid? And then mm -hmm. perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Oh. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was I'm describing scared. itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. I'm so lost. He thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. Is anyone else getting dizzy? The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? 
Believing that I'm if getting he's dizzy. asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak so words, it was a shock to Stanley. <laughs> After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? <laughs> this voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. No. And he invited himself to... No. Work. He felt the cool no. of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. Someone's gonna jump. To himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. I'm Let scared. me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My I'm life scared. is normal. I am normal. That's voice. Everything will be fine. Please stop. I am okay. Hmm. Cool. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. It's been I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? No, I'm Who done. Am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Wow. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, a woman. gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her oh. walk was interrupted by the body of a man who oh. had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. And then dead. collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Yeah, I died. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange it died. man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to, 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 to think, think, think this. And in a certain way, something this to that. made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. Is it meant to be kind of certain? The rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Wow. Well, she's a bit of a horrible person. Didn't even call me an ambulance, even though I'm dead, but still should have called me an ambulance. Have I just started again? No, we're not we're not starting again. We're not. I'm not emotionally ready for that again. Ugh, I've got shivers. Meh. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and a comment and tell me if you liked it. I can do other plays off it again and try and do different things and see if I die every time because no Malika will did not expect to die did not see that coming at all Ge no I'm actually being genuinely serious but I'm surprised something didn't pop up and scare me because I was kind of waiting for that one so I also guys I'm wanting to do a 500 sub Q&A because I hit 500 subs and I don't have a Q&A so I thought may as well do that if you lot want to leave me questions in the video below, in the video below? No, comment below. Leave me questions in the comments and also just tell me what you thought of this and if you want me to do another one. So, right guys, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!